What's up guys, just wanted to show you all this. This is gonna be my uh, 6S build that I'm gonna use here for who knows how long. I'd like to say uh, maybe the first half of 2018. But this is my uh, America build. This is the uh, America five inch frame. And I did a little something special. I'll put some photos up so you can see in better detail. Uh, I just painted the pod. Uh, it was a little bit of a pain in the ass. I wouldn't do it again, definitely wouldn't do it again, but I just thought about a cool color scheme with the gold and purple and thought it'd be fun to just do it one time and uh, that's it. But this is um, th this is gonna be my 6S build and there's a couple new things here that I've never used before. This Acon, I'll just run down the parts. This is the uh, Acon AK32, uh, 35 amp 6S ESC. I've got the Fortini F4 non-OSD version because I uh, made a mistake when I was buying it uh, I accidentally put the wrong one in my cart so anyway I've got the Predator micro on here and it's got OSD so I'm using that to get my voltage OSD so at least I've got that to go by and then I've got the immersion RC tramp and I'm running the Axie and then of course uh, the big thing here is the motors so I went with a 2207 2300 kV motor I've got a Chameleon that's got F80 Pro 2200 kV, and on 6S, it's nasty. Um, but the ESCs on that have current limiting. This AK32, I don't believe has current limiting because there's only one current sensor. So uh, when I went into uh, the BL Heli 32 suite, I didn't see, I didn't even see that ability to uh, restrict the current flow to the ESCs. So to kind of tame the 2300 kV what I did was uh, throttle curve one of the guys in our crew uh, zombie diesel did it with uh, a 2300 kV motor had good success with it so I was going to uh, give it a shot with this and um, oh yeah I'm using the RXSR receiver so uh, that's that's it that's the build and like I said I'll put some photos up it looks really really good and I uh, just want to show you all a little bit of DVR I've flown a couple packs uh, it's it's not a hundred percent there yet. I made a mistake by tightening down the nuts on the little gummies uh, So too much vibration was getting through to that gyro So I backed them up a little bit and uh, it's flying decent enough for me to uh, Share this with you, but this thing flies great. I like it um, So yeah, let's check out some DVR definitely notice the uh, the blue tint that Bardwell talks about on the uh, the predator, but it looks so damn good. I'm trying to determine whether or not I can get over that or not. Right now, I'm kind of good with it. So, all right, here we go. Oh, looks like my Jello issue is back. That Jello issue was uh, is a result of my uh, flight controller being too tight. Anyway, this is it. Whoop. Still getting used to it. This thing is fun to fly. I think the weight of the motors. The I first of all, I've been flying Floss motors, 2204, 2552, and it's a light, light, light setup. And I think I feel the motors. The motor weight here actually kind of being a little bit of a benefit. Let's not go over there. This thing is just nasty. I just got to figure out that. It's not the camera that's causing that jello. It's the uh, different tune and all that. So, it's not really doing it justice by showing you all this, but those who get it will get it, and those who don't, don't. And so, uh, also, you know, keep in mind my throttle. 
I've got a custom throttle curve. Maybe I'll show it to you. But it's got uh, the top 30% pulled out of the throttle. So when I go to full stick, it's only given like 1,700 and, and change signal to the uh, to the motors. So anyway, I'm, I've not been racing, but I've been kind of punching it out here and there. There we go. Now we're getting into the 20 range. Been flying for a little bit over two minutes. So yeah, once that once I figure out that settings, the tune, and get this camera jelloy kind of effect, which is not it's not the camera that's doing it, it's something else. Once I get that squared away. So now I'm getting to think about this camera thing. And I'm thinking it might actually be the camera. And so this pod is not the normal TPU pod that comes with the uh, America frame. This is the nylon canopy. It's got a special name. I, I don't know. Whatever it is. And it is so hard. It, it, it can't. The, the shell is so hard. Uh, you know, it's it's if it breaks, it's gonna just snap. It's not gonna bend and flex like TPU. And so now that I'm thinking about it, I'm wondering if just that much rigidity in in the pod and where the camera mounts, maybe it's just too much for that CMOS sensor to to deal with. So I'm probably gonna. I think the the quickest way to figure out if that's the issue is throw a uh, run cam in there, a CCD cam, and uh, see if that's not. Uh, actually the issue and if it is I'll either change the pod or or change the camera one of the two but if I got to change the camera that's a shame because the picture is really really good I'm, I'm I'm liking the picture but anyway just just my thoughts